let's play the role of an analyst. We've been assigned to investigate a recent bus hijacking in Medellin, Colombia. I've ingested data from local media and police reports about the hijacking, as well as a government listing of recent terrorist attacks in the area. We know that there are three active terrorist organizations in the area, and our goal will be to see if we can attribute this attack to one of them. Let's get an idea of what's been going on in the area that the hijacking took place in. We'll go to the map view and pan over to Columbia. Next, let's perform a radius search and pull back everything in a small radius around Medellin. Right in Medellin, we see a bus hijacking event, which is our attack of interest. Going back to our graph view, we can take a closer look at what else we pulled back. If we drag to select the events we pulled back, we can see a histogram view, summarizing the properties of these events. The first thing that becomes very clear is that there is a good deal of similarities between them. All of the events come from our list of recent attacks made by the Guerrilla Terrorist Organization, or GTO for short. I also noticed that these attacks were of types hijacking and kidnapping. This makes me suspicious about the GTO already, but let's go down a couple other paths to see what other information we can dig up. I'm going to clean up our graph to just have our event of interest on it. We've been told that there are three terrorist groups we want to investigate. I'm going to search for each one so that I can pull them onto the graph. They are the Guerrilla Terrorist Organization, the Eco Terrorist Organization, and the Shining Star Communist Party of Colombia. Since we have a profile for each of these organizations through the police, let's pop out a new window to compare them with the event. Looking at the eco-terrorist organization profile, we see that they stress non-violence towards humans and animals. This is probably a flag that they are not responsible for the event. Next, the GTO, as we saw earlier, matches a little bit better. They are known for hijacking and extortion attempts, and aren't against violence. Lastly, the Shining Star seems to fall in the middle. Their profile doesn't stop me from thinking they could have done it, but nothing really points the finger at them either. Keeping this in mind, let's go back to our event. Clicking on the event, we see a list of artifacts that mention this bus hijacking. I'm going to right-click and load related artifacts to put them on the graph. Let's look through the artifacts to see if we can get a little better idea of what went on. A group of terrorists took a bus full of mostly Hong Kong tourists hostage in an attempt to extort a ransom from the government. When a desperate police attempt to subdue the terrorists was launched, eight of the hostages were killed before they gained control of the situation. I'm going to see if we can pull back anything from search that we didn't find already connected to our event. Searching for hijacking is pretty broad, so let's add a filter to our search. I want to see if there's a police report about the event, so I want the title of my artifact to contain report. And here we go, a police report. The report gives us a name of one of the dead terrorists, Luis Mendoza. Let's drag him onto the graph and see what we can learn. Since this information shows that he was the perpetrator of the event, I'll create a connection here to symbolize that. I want to learn some more about Mendoza, so let's scan a couple of related artifacts like we did with the bus hijacking event. The first document tells us that he was the last person seen in the station's evidence locker before narcotics went missing. Next, we see an accusation from a fellow officer that Mendoza is stealing from the evidence locker. We also see mention of him meeting with a certain Pablo Garcia, who has known ties to the GTO. The last report details of an altercation between Mendoza and an officer, leading to him and four others to be fired from the force. So the pieces are starting to fit together, and we can see that this could have been a case of cop gone bad, leading into terrorist ties. Next, let's pull Garcia onto the graph as well, and we'll do some investigation onto him. As expected, he appears in the document overview of the GTO, as well as the report where we found him from. There's one more article here, so let's see if there's something new in there. Down here, the article says in passing that Mendoza and Garcia are cousins, something we haven't picked up on yet. Let's go ahead and create this connection in the detail pane. 
So to recap, we've managed to paint a pretty convincing picture here. We show that there were other GTO attacks in the area of similar type. We show that this attack fit closest to the GTO in terms of our organization profiles. And lastly, we connected Mendoza, the one identified member of the attack, to the GTO. Therefore, acting as the police department, we can be certain that this attack was carried out by the GTO.